Well, I'm, my name is Vince. Uh, I'm with Holy Bro. I'll be talking about our new flight controller and uh, our new GX4 development kit. So if you already heard the presentation by Laurent, you are already familiar with all these, or you're already involved with many of these. So uh, the PX4 Autopilot ecosystem, ecosystem, we have MathLink, UAV CAN, Math SDK, QGround Control, and these are all open source projects. So PexHawk is also an open source hardware standard. Um, so in every, right now, every week we meet up and we talk about, we talk about um, existing issues and how we can Im improve on, uh, on hardware and also firmware compatibility. And, and we talk about the, uh, the future standard. So some of the example we have here, uh, the V5X autopilot standard, the Pixar connector standard, the Pixar autopilot bus standard. So we, we're trying to create standard so that there will be um, cross compatibility with, with different, let's say different baseboard, different controller. So instead of kind of like the USB a comparison Lawrence gave. So you want really one connector for for really everything, if, if that's possible. So if you want more information, you can always go to the drone code calendar or Pixar website. So these are the three standards that we really tried hard to implement on our flight controller. So the V5X standard, as the kit just came out pretty recently, the autopilot bus standard and the connector standard. These are all open source standard. So previous implementation of a Pixhawk standard would be one of our really popular flight controller, the Pixhawk 4. It was developed developed in uh, with in collaboration with Altarion in 2018. And it implemented the, the older, I wouldn't say older, but the previous FMU V5 standard. And it was very successful. It was, I, I'm sure many of you had heard of this before. And now we want to introduce our new Pixhawk 5X. The Pixhawk 5X implemented the new FMU V5X standard. So the X is really more uh, a hardened form factor than the original V5 standard. So it improves on not only performance, flex, but flexibility and reliability. So it also it comes in a, a modular design that you can swap different baseboard. And it, it also, importantly, adapted the connector, Pixar connector and autopilot, autopilot bus standard. So other manufacturers that follow this standard, you can almost do a, a swap as if you want to. And this, Flight controller was tested by a team of PX4 flight test tester. And it has also been the hardware also been tested by the PX4 team and also our our engineering team in, in the factory. It is fully PX hot, it was fully PX4 supported. And at the at the bottom you will have some technical spec, and you can also go to our website to to see more about this. And some of the key design point of this new Pixar 5X standard. So as I mentioned before, it's a modular flight controller. It is connected by a 100 pin connector and a 50, 50 pin connector. These are following the Pixar autopilot buttons connector, connector standard. And it's a triple redundancy, three times the IM, three IMU sensors, two parameters and three redundancy domains. So the, all the sensor uh, on different, on a separate power bus. So they, these are all really meant for reliability and also performance. And we also have a new vibration isolation system. And we have two of the IMU on, on, the, on, on there. And we also, the IMU on there also temperature control. So 
you have better performance even in various temperature. And one also important point that Lawrence pointed out earlier today was the Ethernet support. So we have Ethernet support for high speed mission computer integration. The cable would be also be provided uh, on on the standard set. If there's any question, uh, let me know and I'll continue on. So next, uh, I want to introduce the Holy Bro PX4 development kit. So this is a, well, almost an all-in-one kit for a developer to start developing using PX4. So this is calibration between Holy Bro and Dronco Foundation. We're trying to solve the existing problem where um, uh, individual or even com companies that want to that want to purchase um, a drone kit, a development kit to start developing quick and easy, and also um, low while maintaining a low cost. So, so here, this is why this is uh, this was created. So what what's needed inside a uh, dev kit? So of course, I think one of the most important thing is to great get, getting started experience. So a lot of a lot of um, issue on the lower cost development kit in the market is it either has poor documentation or or it takes too long to install. So this is the one of the things we're trying to get correct. It, it would have the latest PixHawk flight controller. It would have an optional Raspberry Pi baseboard, CM4 baseboard that would be integrating our Pix, uh, PixHawk 5X flight controller and a CM4, Raspberry Pi CM4. It would have an optional RC radio, a radio controller with a plug and play radio receiver. That is also a big issue where um, if, if you're not familiar with RC, you, you it would be very difficult to find the right proper radio, proper controller. So we will try to get solve that for you. And we will have, and so very importantly, to be able to extend the functionality of your, your drone. So you can add existing your existing hardware, or you can buy new hardware, or you can um, do your even add on to what what it is right now. So what the mounting we want we already includes a, a these right here. So uh, I'll, there will be more picture later. So I'll continue. So here is here is the dev kit right now. So you see, um, this is the front view. I installed it the, the Red, uh, RealSense 435. You also, it also fit the new 455 and also a uh, structure core. And the power distribution board inside, the space has been increased so you can easily plug in and out. Telemetry radio, right now it's not in stock, but in the future we will have a telemetry radio in the kit. And GPS, our brand new Pixhawk 5X flight controller and an optional radio if you don't have a radio along with a receiver that would be plugged right into right into the flight controller. So in, in the back, you, we, you have a mount for just a Nano Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. If you have any feedback for us for uh, other computer you want to have a mount created already, just let us know. So here's some pictures of mine, um, my, my uh, just a Nano and Raspberry Pi installed. So what's inside the frame? I sped this up for you. So we have propellers, landing gear, carbon fiber top plate, the bottom plate, power module, power distribution board to power your flight controller and ESCs, battery mount, camera mount. This is the platform board for your companion computer and also GPS, if you prefer to put the GPS on there. 
and and there will be also accessories, also the arm. So let's skip ahead. These are the carbon fiber arm with the motor and ESC pre-installed with the XT30 connector that just plug right into the distribution port. And the other end, it goes right into the flight, flight controller. So it, this is a assembly video that is sped up a little bit, but I, I tried it, I installed it myself. It took about, I would say 15 to 20 minutes, depends on how many things you're trying to add on. So this is the something we're trying to emphasize. This is going to be a kit that is very easy to install with great documentation. If a lot of the we're trying to resolve, resolve all the issues that we have previously with the older edition and also other lower cost budget development kit out there for developer to start developing and spend more time developing, developing less time doing the troubleshooting hardware or trying to figure out which screw goes where. So other than the Pixhawk 5X, we are trying to also develop um, a CM4 baseboard for the Pixhawk 5X. It is going to be one compact design with the CM4 inside and also our Pixar 5X in there. It would have all the connection you need for development. And this is under development. So if you, um, a, our current expectation is in about November, this baseboard would be ready to go. But time, it might change. It might be earlier or later. So stay tuned for that. So we're also exploring a partnership with Ubuntu uh, in collaboration with Drone Code. We, we are trying to create an image with a core set of utility that developer needs. So feedback uh, welcome. So I want to include such as MAF SDK, ROS, MAF ROS, things like that. So we're trying to bring the best out of the Raspberry Pi CM4 and it will be pre-configured on our CM4, and but it could be also something you can download online for your existing um, existing computer. So uh, please contact Canonical. He, that that's the company that was, that is was, um, going to be helping us with this, and also Drone Code for uh, detail and feedback. And also feel free to contact me if if needed. So here is some of the, the partnership or potential partnership that will be going into the, this dev kit. So uh, thank you very much. That's it. I only have 15 minutes. Uh, here's my email and, and our social media. So if you need to contact me, feel free to send me an email. And I will also try to answer as many questions as I can. We, you can also stay here and ask more question if you want. I don't think they will kick us out. So let me let me try to get some question answered. So right now the right now the PX4 dev kit is not available to, to be ordered yet, but we will put that on our website very soon. So if you um, send me an email or um, if you put a comment on, on the chat, I will try to reach out to your, you and your email to notify you that we, it is ready to be ordered. So, but uh, the estimate ship date right now for both of the Pixhawk 5X and our PX4 dev kit would be sometime in about three to four weeks. So we're looking at October 15 and things might change a week or two. So earlier or later, so uh, we, we try our best to communicate. You can also find me on Slack, PX4 Slack. So uh, the price for the dev kit, the price of the PX4, PX4 flight controller is already online. So you can refer that, go to our website and take a look. There's many different options. Uh, we are going to be improving the 
the website and the product page. And the price for the dev kit has not been set yet, but we, if you, we are looking at somewhere around five hundred dollar. Don't don't quote me on that, but it's going to be around that range. In the next day or two, we will get everything. Um, oh, it depends on if you want the radio controller or not. So of course, it, it, you saw the the depth camera and the companion, companion computer; those are not included in the price. So there will be separate option for it for the CM4 in the future. But right now, you in the, in the next couple few days, you you will be able to order the kit with the radio controller and the receiver that will be plugged right into the Pixar 5X. And uh, let's go to the Q&A. So, so, the, the, so uh, for the Holy Bowl Pixhawk 5X, you, you can already pre-order it on our website. It will be shipped in about four weeks. So for the RealSense camera, we are actually not selling it with the RealSense, but we sell the mount for it. And whatever product there there, there is, we will create a mount for it. So, um, so if there is any more feedback, let, let me know. So yeah, let, let me get, get that clear. So but this, that camera is is not included in the kit and the price. This is something you you put in and you you install. We will try. We will install. We will include the cable for you to connect. And we and PX4 drone code and 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 Holy Bro will try our best to create the right documentation for you to get started with with that. So for the Ethernet, there will we will come with a cable and it is going to be RJ45, the standard one on one side, and it will be a, a GH connector, the four pin GH connector on one side that goes into the Pixhawk 5X. And the FMU working group. Um, it's open for attendance, so anybody can attend. Uh, it might be a little scary for, for new new people that never attend before. So you can always join in and listen, and there will be time at the end where you can ask questions. But for the quickest support, you can always post on PX4 Slack. And if it's about our product, you can always contact me or contact our sales team. So let me let me see if there's anything else. Uh, I'm trying to answer some of the questions, other questions. Let's see. So uh, I guess we have some time left. The companion computer is connected, will be connected to the 5X to Ethernet. So, 
So right uh, on, on the current, my current drone do not have everything connected, but uh, I wish I'm trying to show you instead of pictures and video on the actual existing product. Let me stop the presentation. Okay. So this is how it's going to look like with our PX, Hexhawk 5X flight controller. Um, for gimbal mount, right now we don't. So we're hoping that this is a not one and done project. We are trying to make this a continuous improvement project. So right now we might not have support for a, um, a gimbal, but in the future we, we will. Or you are always welcome to use the rails at the bottom to, to create your own mount and configure it the way you want. And, and we, we are in talks that we might, we, it's possible that we will include a, a gimbal as payload. So the weight of this kit, of course, it depends on what battery you have. But let me double check. So it, it without the depth camera, without the companion computer, without the battery, because these are really optional items. So it's it's less than one kg. So about 580 80 gram. Do you use both depth cam, depth and track camera on it? So right now we, we only have the mount for for the existing screw holes on, on the Intel Rosense 435 and the 455. So if there is enough, and also at the bottom, you can mount uh, optical flow on the bottom and it might, we might include something you know, on a website where you can also purchase that would, 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 would work. So whatever your camera you mount on it is really up to you. But right now we only have to mount for, for those cameras. And on the software side is you, it would really have to depend on, on, a, on PX4, but with the assistant, with with um with the new Ubuntu image, we're trying to make everything easier. So, I hope I answer at least most of the questions. What size are the motors? These, uh. 2216 and 880 KV. And if there's any feedback on what needs to be included and what do you like to see and what uh, you hope to see and things like that, please also let me know. Um, especially, of course, that on the hardware side. Um, yes. I'll for the STL mounts, STL file for the mounts, we would we'll have all the STL file on on our website where you can download or modify, and 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 print 
and if there's something good, of course, we'd love to have the community contribute back to us, and we would also put it on our website for the for the everybody, or, or maybe we we'll also use your design if if that's possible. For for the Ross question, um, I. We might need to refer to someone from join code and uh, PX4 to answer that. The ROS2 for future CM4 baseboard. So, um, we don't have any polls, but if I think I answer at least most, if not all, the questions. Hope you guys like the presentation and liked what we what we brought right here. We will um, will be releasing. Um, we will be announcing it shortly, and we'll be ready to be pre-ordered and hopefully sometime this week and as i said that if you if you have any suggestion if you want to order uh, a large amount please feel free to contact me or anybody will probably bro and i think i think i think that's that's most of the Questions. Thank you. Let's go back. Let's go back to the slides here. Um, I, I'm trying to look at the, the link about RealSense. I haven't read through everything yet, but it looks like they're winding down on the business unit, but they will continue to support. I hope. This, I'll continue reading it a little later. This my email. You can also find me at, at the Holy Bull booth. I'll try to stay awake. It's, it's one o'clock here in Hong Kong. And try to stay awake most of most of the morning or night. Uh, why use TX16? Is there one you suggest? So we, we are trying to use the TX16S because uh, we, we think that's a good controller for for starter, it's less than $200. Um, here, Link, we have, and Holy Bro have our own GPS. So so we have a RTK GPS, the, we call it the HRTK. We have different antennas, three different antennas. We have also different types of um, other type of GPS, the M8N, m 8 uh, M9N GPS, so uh, you can feel free to look at our website or contact me. If and if you have any suggestion or on what radio controller we should we should use and the reason behind it, please let us know. Also, we are really welcome for um, feedback. Um, oh, here link. Sorry, I I was thinking about the the, the GPS. So. We 
our goal right here is to have a low, have a, I guess you can say a lower cost kit for, for every, for developers and, that can really get right into it. Here, Link is a much more expensive controller. So that it might not be a target for us. So we, we do sell similar controller on our website with full ground controller capability that you, you're welcome to, to look at and you're welcome to purchase along with this kit. There is option to buy with the TX16S and the receiver or without the radio controller. So if you prefer something else, if you prefer um, a radio controller with with full ground control compatibility, be my guess, you can you can get that. All right, let me go to a different slides. Let's go back to the PixHawk 5X. So if you have any question about also about the flight controller, please let me know. Okay, it's ready to be pre-ordered. And these are some of the key design points, but but of course there are much more uh, a lot of inf information already on our website, but we will try to get everything really clear, even more clear than the way it is on our website. So there's still 36 people here. So if you have any more questions and feedback, let me know. Okay, so um, I guess we can wrap up now. Please, uh, thank you very much for the support and thank you very much for being here. Um, it's my pleasure to speak in the PX4 Development Summit 2012. Hopefully next year we'll, we'll see each other in person. Thank you.